So the PMO or the project management office itself, there are a few different types of PMO that you will come across. And this is quite important and I found this a little bit confusing, so I will go into this. Uh, but it starts off as a supportive PMO. When we've got the supportive PMO, it's, a, it's more of a consultative role. So they, they just supply templates, best practices, they don't really have a high degree of control. They just sort of give people guidelines of what to do and say, you know, here is a, here's a good way to do it, but you don't, you know, what you do is up to you. So they're just supporting you. They're not really directing or controlling anything, which we'll get into here. So controlling PMOs, uh, they give more of a specific project management framework or methodology, use of specific templates, forms, and tools, but they ensure that you do use them. So they're, they're saying, here are the things that you have to use, and we, this is the way you have to do your project. So it's controlling the project through the use of templates, forms, and tools that the company uses, and conformance to those governance frameworks as you're going along your project, specific methodologies and specific ways of work. And then lastly, the most controlling is, uh, is the directive, which is why I found it a little bit confusing. But directive project management officers, they take complete control of the projects by directly managing those projects. They have specific project managers assigned um, by the PMO and they report back to the PMO. And so they have a very, very high degree of control in this environment. So you have supportive, controlling, where we control through templates, governance, frameworks, and making sure we're adhering to that. And then directive, where we're actually taking uh, the direction of the project ourselves. When you have a project management office or a PMO, the primary function of a PMO, no matter what type it is, is to support those project managers in a variety of ways. So these ways could include managing shared resources across all projects. So this is really important. Maybe you've got 10 projects, however many, but you only have enough resources for six projects. So you need to sort of shift these. The PMO can keep an eye on, on all of this, usually as a program or a portfolio view, and help manage the use of those resources across those different projects. They can help with coaching, mentoring, training and oversight, uh, monitoring the compliance requirements and the standards and policies and procedures, giving them, helping people work with the policies and procedures within an organization. Uh, coordinating communications across projects. And again, it really does come back down to that project program and portfolio view where they have a great view of all the things that are going on in the individual projects. They can help with the communication, help with the management of it, and basically are there to support those project managers and help get the job done. And this is the environment in which projects operate.